Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Redivis RA25 radio. We'll get to it right after this. I received a bundle kit from Redivis, and it's called the Farm Tractor Bundle. What you get in the kit is mounting bracket. You get the microphone, owner's manual, radio itself, mounting hardware and microphone holder, an antenna with mag mount, and a programming cable. Okay, the manual comes in five languages, English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. However, it's only six pages long, so there's not a lot of detail in there. Shows you what comes in the box, the radio itself, some brief instructions for programming, the function keys, menus, and that's pretty much it. On the front of the radio, you have the jack for both the microphone and programming cable, monitor button. The main button allows you to switch from channel A to B. Your VFO memory, up and down arrows, the function button, the power and volume knob, and on the back, external speaker, and the jack for the antenna. Time of filming this video, this particular kit is going for $115.99. It comes in four different styles, a mini antenna, which is the one I have, short antenna, which includes the mounting hardware, NGP antenna, also gives you a mag mount, and the stainless antenna, which gives you the mounting hardware as well. The particular one I have, it transmits on 144 to 146 megahertz and 430 to 440 megahertz. That's 500 channels. It's a 20 watt radio. The measurements for this are 124 by 101 by 36 millimeters and weighs 45 kilograms. Okay, for programming using the Redivis software, you're gonna to go to redivis.com. Go to the radio you wanna program. In this case, we are on the RA25. And there are several types listed. We want the ham radio one. Click on that. In the top right corner, you'll see support. Go ahead and click on support. On the left side, click on where it says firmware slash software, and then download the RA25 software and install it on your computer. Once you've got all that done, go ahead and open the software. Make sure you've got your radio hooked up to the computer properly. Once the software is open, go to set, click on Set COM, make sure you have the right COM port. In this case, we're COM3. And then go to Program and read from the radio. And pick a location. You want to enter your first frequency. In this case, we're going to do National Calling. We'll do it on number two. Double click on the More column. Enter the frequency you want. it's a simplex, we don't have to worry about the shift. Put in your channel name. And you can choose the step you want, your channel spacing, the power level. They give you three choices, low, medium, high. We don't have to worry about any of the CTCSS since this is simplex. Once you're done, click OK, and it will automatically populate all the cells. Next one we'll do is a repeater to the on channel 15. Again, double click on the more column, enter the frequency you want. In this case, we're doing 145.220. Then our transmit frequency, since this is a negative offset, we'll do 144.620. Enter the name. And again, you have the steps, the channel spacing. We'll do, since I'm in the shadow of the mountain, I'll hit high for the power. Normally I wouldn't. And then we need 103.5 is a PL tone. And once you have everything entered that you need here, click OK. And again, it's populated. Once you get everything set up, go back up to program. 
now write it to the radio. And that's all there is for programming using the software. To get things customized on your radio using the software, go to Function Setup. And you can put in your own opening screen welcome. I have WJ6F Radio. And you can choose how you want each memory to show up. You want the frequency, the channel, or the name. I choose name. And you can customize all these different uh, things to make the radio work the way you want it to. Like timeout timer for me, I have it set to three minutes. English. You can set up your Vox delay from here. Okay, the first thing you want to do, make sure you are in the VFO mode. Once you're there, you're going to use the mic and input your frequency. In this case, we're going to do 145220. Once you have your frequency input, you're going to go ahead and press the function button. That'll take you into the menu, and you're going to use VFO memory or main to go up and down inside the menu. We want to go to number 10. Now we have to press and hold the down arrow to get to point six. There you go, once you have the offset all put in, drop down to menu item number one. This will get you your PL tone. Press monitor, and then you can press and hold the up or down arrow to get to the desired number quickly. In this case, we want 103.5. And once you have those input, you should be all set. So let's try it out and see what we got. The first thing we need to do, using the keys on the microphone, press the A function button, and then nine to set the repeater direction. In this case, we want negative. Press it again, and now we're in negative. Now let's try and see if this works. WJ6F testing. And we got the repeater to come back, so it's working. Now to save this in the memory, the first thing you want to do on the microphone, you're going to press the A function button on the bottom left corner. And then you're going to use the up arrow. And you see how it says save to three, null. If there's nothing in there, you'll see null. If you've got a frequency in there, then you'll get the frequency that's already stored. So we're gonna go up to 15. And once you have the desired location for your memory, press and hold the asterisk monitor button. And it locks it in. And you can switch over to memory. And there you are, it's locked in. Now, if you wanna put a name tag on here, unlike many radios, you have to use software to do it. This one, you do not. So what you're going to do, you're going to hit the function button, and then you go up to mem menu item number 12. Now to start inputting the letters you want, hit monitor, and then you're going to use the up and down arrows to pick the letter or number that you want. And then to switch to the next letter, press monitor and repeat it until you're all done. And once you have everything in that you want done, go ahead and hit function and it's locked in. And that's all there is to it for manually inputting a repeater in here. To input a simplex, obviously all the steps are the same, except you don't have to worry about offsets or PL tones. So far this has been a pretty good radio to use. It's easy to program, easy to set up. For $115, you get the antenna programming cable in the radio. It's kind of hard to pass that up. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area below. While you're here, check out one of these other videos, and thanks again for watching.